We all know that clopidogrel is metabolized dependent on genetic disposition. Several trials have investigated the utility of genetic testing in patients who receive clopidogrel. And basically all of these have been disappointing with no advantage of genetic testing. Accordingly, the guidelines recommend a class 3 which means do not do genetic testing in clopidogrel patients. Now in the farm clock trial, Ardicini and co-workers embarked on a publicly funded investigation of a new device that provides genetic information of three particular genes in patients who receive clopidogrel. Quite astonishingly, this device delivers the information at point of care at bedside within 17 minutes. They estimated a power for the trial of 3,600 patients having undergone a non-STEMI or a STEMI and they randomized to one pharmacogenetic arm and the other arm was standard of care. We also know that there are more potent P2Y12 inhibitors than clopidogrel, namely ticagrelor and prasugrel. And in the pharmacogenetic arm, physicians were allowed to shift patients, dependent on the genetic result, to more potent platelet inhibitors than clopidogrel. So the trial started enrolling patients and unfortunately, Due to a regulatory problem with the device, the trial was prematurely interrupted with 888 patients enrolled. These patients were high risk. They were 71 years old in average and 72% of these infarction patients were actually revascularized. The results showed that in the pharmacogenomic arm, more patients were on ticagrelor with a difference of 10%. 10% more patients were in ticagrelor than in the usual care arm. And interestingly, the MACE primary result of this study showed that MACE was significantly lower in the pharmacogenomic arm by quite striking relative risk reduction of 42% and absolute risk reduction of 8%. So the perspective on this trial is that this for the first time actually materializes as a positive, as a positive study in genetic testing for clopidogrel use and very much due to this restricted number, this needs confirmation in, in further trials.